The art of the ancient Greeks and Romans constructed the classical art period. The Romans learned sculpture and painting largely from the Greeks. During the first period of the classical art, Greek sculptors learned to represent the human in a more naturalistic form using movement. With the material as beautiful as marble, the Greek sculptors wanted to portray ideal beauty and the perfection of the body. The ancient Greeks thought that the human body was perfect, but for them it was not an individual that was perfect. It was the perfection of the human body parts in their relationship to the others. This is a sculpture called the door forest. The door forest means a spare bearer. This sculpture was to be studied and replicated with the idea of a perfect human form based on math. The Greeks would perform their athletics nude, celebrating the body and its physical abilities. This sculpture was not about warfare. It was not about a portrait of an individual, but it was about the perfection of a human form. From the Archaic period from the, to the Classical period, the Greeks began to examine the human body and understand its physiognomy. Compared to a curious figure, the curious was symmetrical, while the door force has a gentle S-curve displaying movement, breaking symmetry while still having some balance. During the Roman conquest of the Mediterranean in the 2nd and 1st centuries BC, Greek sculpture was both admired and looted, with many statues shipped back to Rome when Greek originals couldn't be acquired. Roman patrons commissioned new sculptures to decorate their public buildings, private villas, or sanctuaries to the god. Variations between Greek and Roman sculpture show that Roman works were not just imitations, but creative adaptations to suit Roman taste. Basically, just about every Roman wanted an ancient Greek art. For the Romans, Greek culture symbolized a desirable way of life, of leisure, the arts, luxury, and learning. Gods, athletes, heroic figures, subjects inhabiting the sensual worlds of the gods, Aphrodite and Dionysus, and decorated relief sculptures were popular. From the Renaissance onwards, sculptures like, the, like these were being discovered in Rome and other ancient sites around the Mediterranean, collected by royalty, successive popes, and European antiquarians during the Grand Tours of Italy. Many of the naked male athletic statues were marble adaptations of Greek works originally cast in bronze. Because of the statues were made of marble, they lost their attributes that made them distinguishable and so they had to be restored later on. Later artists drew inspiration from Greek and Roman sculptures and created innovative works in classical styles. The door forest was one of the most sought after and most copied Greek sculptures. This marble sculpture is a portrait of Augustus, the first emperor of the Roman Empire. With Roman art being closely intertwined with politics and propaganda, Augustus invoked the power of imagery to communicate his ideology. This statue might appear to depict Augustus as an orator and general, but this sculpture also depicts him as a great military victor and a strong supporter of Roman religion, displaying his power. The Romans often modeled their art on Greek predecessors, Augustus and the spear bearer had a similar contrapostal stance. They also were portrayed as youthful and flawless individuals, making them perfect. Despite that, Augustus was middle-aged. His statue depicts him with the perfect body of a Greek athlete. In contrast to the old Republican tradition of portraits that represented age and experience through the imperfections of the face. The Augustus of Prima Porta was not a statue simply to be a portrait of the emperor but it expressed his connection to the past, his role as a military victor, his connection to the Goths with his metal breastplate, and his role as a bringer of the Roman peace. In summary, classical art encompasses the cultures of Greece and Rome, including the idea of perfection using the human male body. It also endures the cornerstone of Western civilization. The classical art period depicted the ideas of beauty, harmony, and proportion.